The essence of Wisdom Village is really one, the prayer to bring balance to the underlying and above rising masculine and feminine divine, and to remember our roots and the lineages that bring us together that we all share. It's to bring to the youth together with the elders. It's to honor the fire and the water, the air and the earth, and to come together and pray. The Wisdom Village is this incredible place within the Arise Festival where all kinds of wise teachings are brought together and shared among people. And this for us at Sunrise is carrying on a tradition of decades where people from around the planet have come to this place to share the wisdom that they have and to receive the wisdom of others. I'm excited that it's a combination of music, which is uplifting, but also all these consciousness-raising seminars. Uh, the combination of the two make this a highly enjoyable experience. Hello, my name is Lisa Bodie, and I'm the fire lead at the Arise Music Festival in Wisdom Village. And we're here at Sunrise Ranch. And I'm working with the sacred fire, which really pulls together energies. It helps us to transform and transmute them for our highest selves. The sacred fire also is an amplifier for any of our prayers and intentions to Great Spirit. The Arise Music and Camping Festival is Sunrise Ranch's way of hosting people into this valley that is the home that we share as a community and that we invite people into from the world at large. It's a wonderful opportunity for people to encounter new wisdom in their life, to encounter a way of being with the land and with each other, and with a very source of creativity and wisdom within them that is so needed not only in their own lives, but in the world at large. We're dropping a pebble in the ocean in this event. It's a pebble of conscious awareness that is being enjoyed and celebrated by the people who come and which is rippling out into the world and growing in all kinds of ways. The heart is this powerful organ of emanation, uh, of emanating a vibration of a frequency. And so we're looking to activate that and we know that that connects us in a very active way with other people. When we are heart connected within ourselves, when we're connected to our own feeling center and we're living out of that center, we are, by virtue of doing that, already connected with other people. Because the field of the heart is a connected field that we share with other human beings. And so when we're living from that place, we are, by virtue of that, connected. And then, the currents of energy, the currents of love, the currents of life-giving energy that rightly pass between us as human beings have the ability to do so in that field. If we're living life from the neck up, we're disconnected from ourselves, from other people, and then from the very source of love within us that is the power of the field in which we live. And when you feel complete, switch. Um, just attended this wonderful workshop by David Karcher and Ava and I thought it was incredibly heart-centered, heart-expanding, uh, and a coming together of men and women.
it was uh, I didn't have a lot of expectations but it, it was a beautiful um, mm, communication between the between the masculine and the feminine here the men and the women and sanctity of gathering as men and gathering as women and honoring them. Um, so together, together in that way. Enjoy it. <laughs> we are on the same line. It's both about the rising sun, and the rising sun is the spirit of love, wisdom, and life. So I invite you to just take a breath inside your heart. Feel your feet on the ground. I think it was just poignant to hear how um, yeah, people feel really isolated and disconnected and vulnerable because of that and how powerful it is for them to uh, speak that and then um, you know, make steps towards healing it. Oh, that was amazing and beautiful. That last exercise that we did where the women were in the center sounding their voices, encircled by men that were so obviously um, there to be, to hear and be supportive. And ultimately I felt better as a person and I felt that I was intimate with actually a group of strangers that they were here to support me. And I'm going to take that with me into the festival. Beautiful people all over the place, exchanging, being happy, connecting. This is what it's all about. It's a very um, open-hearted and open-minded place to be at. Uh, I feel like it's a people offer each other space to feel love <laughs> and to be present. To be one again, to be one in a message that is so important to all of us to find new ways to, to integrate our cultures and to be really comfortable in our diversity and to be really comfortable in the ways that we have all chosen to walk. I'm someone who got inspired by the whole story of creation. And I got completely and totally inspired that out of no thing at all came consciousness and a force that was able to create a big bang that had in it the actual dynamics of metals and minerals that is in our body and that from that we can witness about 13.7 billion years of nature's impulse to create with purpose. I think it's important that we claim that new humanity inside of ourselves, individually and collectively. That not only we reach into that space where we can touch that greater presence of who we are waiting to be birthed into this world and create a new world, but that we stand in it, we chant in it, we invite others into the space, we stand strong and proudly claiming Yes, I am here. We are one. We are one. We are here. We are here. We are ready. We are ready. Humanity arise. Humanity arise. We are one. We are here. We are ready. Humanity arise.